hydrogen atom, recall that we have the n equal 1. And this has energy minus 13.6 electron volts. We have the n equal 2. And this has energy minus 13.6 over 4, over 2 squared. So minus 3.4 eV. Now we have the third n equal 3 level. And this has minus 13.6 over 3 squared, so over 9. So this is about minus 1.5. EV, 1.51 1 or so. And then we have n equal 4, and that's minus 13.6 over 4 squared over 16, which is minus 0 0.85 EV and so on. So the Balmer, the Balmer series, they correspond to transitions ending at the n equal 2. So transitions like these. These are part of the Balmer series. What is the energy and wavelength of the photon in the series with the longest wavelength? So which photon has the longest wavelength in this series? And which one? What is the energy and wavelength of the photon with the shortest wavelength? We have to, first of all, understand the connection between the energy and the wavelength of the photon. The energy of the photon is HF, which is H, and the frequency is the speed divided by the wavelength, so HC over lambda. So longest wavelength means largest lambda means lowest energy because energy is hc over lambda so which photon in this series has the uh, lowest energy so longest wavelength means what smallest energy so which photon in this series has the smallest energy. The series, then you get here n equal 5, n equal 6, n equal 7, n equal 8, up to n equal infinity, up to very, very large n. When n approaches infinity, the energy, which is minus 13.6, over n squared, the energy becomes, approaches zero. So we get all these transitions all these transitions up to the last one. Which of these has the lowest energy? By conservation of energy, this one has the lowest energy. This transition will give me a photon equal in energy to this difference. Remember, the photon energy, the photon emitted, is equal, its energy is the same as the difference in energy between the initial and final state. So which of these photons have the lowest energy? This photon that corresponds to transition from n equal 3 to n equal 2. What is the energy of this photon? It's EI minus EF. EI is minus 1.5, and EF is minus 3.4. So this is 3.4, and that's all in EV. 3.4 3 minus 1.5. So this is 1.9 EV. So this is the energy of the 
photon with longest wavelength in the series. Now, what is this wavelength? HF is the same as HC over lambda. So we get HC over lambda is 1.9 EV. So what is lambda? It's HC over 1.9 EV. HC is 1240 EV nanometer. So divided by 1.9 EV. So that gives us about 700 or so, 600 something nanometers. A little bit over 600, OK? 600 whatever, let's say 650 nanometers, around that. So around 650 nano meters. This is the wavelength. That's the longest wavelength in this series. How about the shortest wavelength? Shortest wavelength means what? Since the energy is HC over lambda, the photon with the shortest wavelength least lambda means the photon with the largest energy. So of, the, of all these photons, which one has the largest energy? This one. Because the photon energy is a difference in energy between the initial and final. So which difference is largest? This one. So for the shortest wavelength, Shortest lambda means largest E. And the largest E, what is it? For it corresponds to tra transition from energy equals zero, because that's when N becomes large. When N is very large, E minus 13.6 over N squared becomes zero. From zero to minus 3.4. So E would be EI minus EF. EI is 0, and EF is minus 3.4 EV. So it's 3.4 EV. And so this is the energy. What is lambda? Lambda shortest is HC over E. E, see from here, E is HC over lambda. So what is lambda? HC over E. HC is 1,240 EV nanometer divided by 3.4 EV. So this is about... 350 or so, okay. around that, nanometers. It doesn't matter what the exact number is. We can calculate the exact number. You can just divide and get the exact number. But it's, it's of the order of 350 plus or minus something, nanometers.